Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be talking about how to use takes or layers in Studio One. So let's let's talk a little bit about recording with takes. You're going to find in other digital audio workstations that the software gives you the option to record different takes of the same instrument or the same track. This means that you can record the same performance several times and keep every single one of those so that later on you could choose the one you like the best or you could even create a new quote-unquote take where you compile the best parts of each performance. That way you don't have to play a perfect take but you could do let's say a take that contains the correct verse and then another one that c contains the perfect chorus and then maybe another one that has the bridge just the way you want it so then you can create a compiled take that contains every single one of those quote-unquote good parts now in studio one we don't call those takes we call them layers and we're going to talk about that now so let's say we have a bass track like the one i have here i'm going to go ahead and enable it and let's see if we have some audio happening there it is so um, how do we create a layer here? Well, uh, if we click here on the inspector view, we're going to see some information about my bass track. And then here there is layers. It says layer one. That's a default layer. So Studio One by default creates layer one, which is the only layer that it contains at first. Now, um, you have options to add layer, rename layers, duplicate them, or remove them. When you have only layer one, you can't remove it. As you can see, it's grayed out because it's the only one you have. So what I'm going to do, I have my metronome set up. I'm going to go ahead and record a little part, and then I'm going to stop. So then I'm going to create another layer, which is another quote-unquote take, um, to see what happens. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so that's my, par my part. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So let's say I have that take there. Let's say I wanna do another pass. So if I go to layers and I click there on the, this little icon that looks like an arrow, that's a drop down list. You can click on add layer and it's gonna create layer two. So I'm gonna go back to the start of the part and I'm gonna record again. Okay, I'm going to stop it, and let's do one more. I'm going to click on it again, at layer, layer three. Here we go. Okay, so what happened to the other layers? They are still here, and I'm going to show that to you. Let me go ahead and go out of record. So. I'm on layer three, which is the last layer that we created. If we want to go back to layer two, I just need to click and then click on layer two. And that's my layer two information. And then if I go to layer one, that's my layer one. Now, the idea of this is that you create, after you have your three different performances, let's say you like layer two the most. You could create a new layer. Uh, I guess you could call it a layer four or the fourth layer in this case. And you could rename it let's call it comp layer compile layer so it's a blank layer but if you liked layer two the most you can go to layer two click on the audio event then you can right click it copy it then if you go to layer comp or the comp layer you can right click paste it and now uh, this is your compile layer in this case, the only thing that I compile is that I copy it and paste it my layer two, which was the second time that I performed the bass. You could see yourself in a situation in which you take a part from layer one, and then you take a part from layer two, for example, and then a part from layer three, and so on and so forth. But by now, um, we have compiled, we have created a compile layer just by copying and pasting layer two. So that's an overview of layers in Studio One. If you have any other questions, please call us from Ovidia 
That's 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.